What if the roots of a modern European people went deeper than Rome, deeper than Greece, even deeper than written history itself? For centuries, the origins of the Albanian people have remained one of Europe's most enduring mysteries. Were they descended from the ancient Illyrians, as many believe? Or could their stories stretch even farther back, to the forgotten peoples who walked the Balkans long before nations, before borders, and even before cities? Modern science is now beginning to unlock answers, and the revelations are nothing short of astonishing. Thanks to advancements in ancient DNA analysis and population genetics, scientists have begun piecing together the genetic tapestry of southeastern Europe. What they found is a complex yet remarkably consistent picture. The Albanian people today carry a genetic signature that is both ancient and resilient, one that has survived waves of conquest, migration, and cultural upheaval. They are not simply the byproduct of invaders or empires. In many ways, Albanians are a living link to Europe's prehistoric past. But what does it mean to claim descent from the Illyrians or even earlier Neolithic populations? Can we truly trace the modern identity of a nation through the bloodlines of Bronze Age farmers and steppe warriors? And what about the claims of influence from Slavs, Greeks, and Romans? This is where the science gets fascinating. In this video, we'll journey through deep time, combining archaeology, history, linguistics, and cutting-edge DNA research to uncover the true origins of the Albanian people. You'll see how genetics doesn't just confirm old legends, but sometimes rewrites them entirely. Get ready to discover how the past still lives within the present, encoded in the DNA of a people who have endured and evolved through millennia. This is the story of the Albanians, told by their genes. The question of Albanian origins has long revolved around a central theory, descent from the ancient Illyrians. These mysterious tribes once roamed the Western Balkans, resisting Roman domination and leaving behind traces in place names, archaeological sites, and scattered classical records. But despite this long-standing hypothesis, the Illyrians themselves remain something of an enigma. With no surviving written language and only fragmentary evidence, they are more ghost than nation in the historical record. Enter genetics. Recent studies of ancient DNA are beginning to pull the Illyrians out of the shadows. By analyzing skeletal remains from Bronze and Iron Age sites across the Western Balkans, especially in modern-day Albania, Montenegro, and Kosovo, researchers have identified a genetic continuity that stretches from those ancient populations to today's Albanians. This continuity is stronger here than in almost any other part of Europe. One striking finding is the dominant presence of Y-DNA haplogroup J2B2 and certain subclades of EV13 among modern Albanians, markers that can be traced back to early Balkan Bronze Age cultures, and possibly even Neolithic farmers who first settled the region over 6,000 years ago. Despite centuries of invasions, Roman, Byzantine, Slavic, and Ottoman, this core genetic signature has endured. But this doesn't mean the story is one of isolation. In fact, the DNA also tells a story of interaction and adaptation. There are traces of steppe ancestry from Indo-European migrations, consistent with the arrival of warrior elites that swept across Europe during the Bronze Age. Later genetic signals also reflect contact with Greeks and Romans, though these influences appear to have been more cultural than genetic in impact. Perhaps most intriguingly, Albanian DNA shows relative insulation from later Slavic migrations that reshaped much of the Balkans. While neighboring populations absorbed significant Slavic genetic material, Albanians retained much of their earlier ancestry, supporting the idea that they are not just descendants of Illyrians, but custodians of a far older genetic legacy. In this light, Albanians emerge not as a people formed by conquest or colonial imposition, but as the deeply rooted inheritors of a region rich in prehistoric continuity. The Illyrians may remain silent in written records, but through DNA, their story, and their connection to modern Albanians, is beginning to speak loud and clear. Long before the name Albania appeared in history, the rugged terrain of the Western Balkans was home to a tapestry of ancient peoples. To understand where modern Albanians come from, scientists have turned to ancient DNA, 
unlocking a time capsule buried beneath centuries of migration, conflict, and cultural transformation. Archaeological digs across the Balkans have yielded skeletal remains dating back to the Neolithic, Bronze, and Iron Ages. When these bones were subjected to genetic analysis, a striking pattern emerged, the presence of three foundational ancestries that shaped the genetic landscape of Europe, Wester hunter-gatherers, WHG, Anatolian Neolithic farmers, and steppe pastoralists from the Pontic Caspian region. These three groups mingled over millennia, forming the genetic foundation of populations across Europe. In the Balkans, however, the mixture occurred early and stabilized quickly. This early fusion led to the emergence of distinct regional profiles, and in the Western Balkans, modern Albania, Kosovo, Montenegro, and parts of North Macedonia, a relatively consistent genetic signal has been preserved. Bronze Age samples from this area show remarkable continuity with today's Albanian population, suggesting that while empires came and went, the people living in these mountains and valleys remained largely rooted. Interestingly, the Western Balkans resisted some of the sweeping demographic changes that reshaped other parts of Europe. For example, the Slavic migrations that transformed genetic profiles in the northern and eastern Balkans had only a limited effect on the region historically inhabited by Albanians. Ancient DNA shows that while some Slavic influence is detectable, the core ancestry of Albanians remained distinct and surprisingly stable. Moreover, the genetic link to the ancient Illyrians, long proposed as the forebears of Albanians, has grown stronger with each discovery. While the Illyrians left no written records, their presence in the archaeological and genetic record supports a picture of continuity rather than replacement. In essence, the Western Balkans act as a genetic time capsule, preserving the deep ancestry of Europe in its valleys, mountains, and isolated communities. As scientists continue to extract and decode ancient DNA, the story becomes clearer. Before Albania, before Rome, and even before the name Illyrian was coined, the seeds of a modern population were already in place, adaptable, resilient, and remarkably enduring. When scientists first analyzed the ancient DNA of populations in the Western Balkans, they expected to find evidence of sweeping changes. Waves of invaders, conquerors, and settlers dramatically reshaping the genetic landscape over time. After all, this region has witnessed millennia of migrations, wars, and imperial rule. But the results were unexpectedly different. Instead of disruption, researchers uncovered a pattern of deep continuity. The genetic profile of today's Albanians, particularly those from the highlands, shows a remarkable similarity to Bronze and Iron Age populations who lived in the same region thousands of years ago. This continuity is far more pronounced than in most of Europe, where ancient populations were often heavily overlaid by later migrations, such as the Indo-European steppe influx or Slavic expansions. What makes the Albanian case so unique is how insulated it appears from major demographic upheavals. While some gene flow from neighboring Slavic and Roman populations did occur, it was minimal compared to the genetic transformations seen elsewhere in the Balkans. In genetic terms, Albanians appear as one of the oldest uninterrupted population lines in Europe. This unexpected stability supports long-standing oral traditions of ancient roots and helps explain the persistence of the Albanian language one of the oldest and most isolated Indo-European languages still spoken today. It also casts new light on the debated link between modern Albanians and the ancient Illyrians. While the debate continues, the genetic data increasingly points toward a native, enduring population that adapted to centuries of change without losing its core identity. In short, modern science is confirming what folklore long suggested the people of Albania may have deeper ancestral ties to their land than nearly any other European group. Rather than being shaped entirely by outsiders, the Albanian story is one of extraordinary continuity amid the chaos of history. For centuries, the presence of Slavic peoples in the Balkans has shaped regional narratives, often casting doubt on the native status of certain populations, especially Albanians. One of the most persistent myths is that modern Albanians are heavily descended from Slavic groups who migrated southward during the early medieval period. But recent genetic studies 
tell a different story. While Slavic migrations certainly left a cultural and linguistic imprint across much of the Balkans, their genetic influence on the Albanian population is surprisingly limited. Genome-wide analyses show that Albanians share less genetic material with Slavic-speaking neighbors than do other Balkan populations like Bulgarians or Serbs. Instead, Albanians retain a distinct cluster more closely aligned with ancient Balkan groups, particularly those predating the Slavic arrival. Linguistically, Albanian remains unique. It does not descend from Slavic roots, and its Indo-European structure contains archaic elements lost in most other European languages. This linguistic independence mirrors the genetic evidence of continuity, not replacement. In essence, while Slavic groups certainly influenced the region's political and cultural landscape, they did not genetically overwrite the native Albanian population. Rather than being Slavicized descendants, Albanians appear to be one of the few Balkan peoples to have resisted deep Slavic assimilation, both biologically and linguistically. The idea that modern Albanians are direct descendants of the ancient Illyrians has been a source of national pride and controversy. For decades, it has served as a cornerstone of Albanian identity, linking today's people to a powerful and mysterious Bronze and Iron Age civilization that once dominated much of the Western Balkans. But is this connection scientifically sound? Ancient DNA is beginning to provide some answers. Samples from known Illyrian burial sites, especially those in modern-day Croatia, Montenegro, and Albania, reveal a genetic profile that overlaps significantly with that of modern Albanians. These ancient individuals shared deep Balkan ancestry, including components that trace back to Neolithic farmers, Indo-European steppe populations, and earlier Paleolithic groups in the region. While the term Illyrian was likely more cultural and linguistic than genetically homogeneous, the continuity in the gene pool between those ancient communities and present-day Albanians is striking. It suggests not just shared territory, but shared bloodlines that endured through millennia of invasions and migrations. However, genetic continuity alone doesn't prove a direct Illyrian to Albanian line. Illyrians left no written language, and many tribes had varied customs and affiliations. Still, when combined with linguistic isolation, geographic persistence, and the clustering of ancient Balkan DNA within modern Albanians, the evidence leans toward a strong, if complex, connection. So, is Illyrian ancestry real? Not in the mythic sense of pure lineage, but yes, in the meaningful sense of deep genetic and cultural continuity across thousands of years. Modern Albanians carry a distinctive genetic signature that sets them apart in the Balkans. While the region is a historical crossroads of empires, migrations, and invasions, Albanians have maintained a remarkable degree of genetic continuity. Studies show that Albanians cluster closely with ancient populations from the Western Balkans, more so than neighboring groups who experienced heavier Slavic or Greek genetic influence. This unique profile reflects both isolation and resilience. The rugged Albanian highlands likely acted as a genetic refuge during turbulent periods, preserving ancient lineages that were diluted elsewhere. Modern Albanians show strong ties to Neolithic European farmers, with additional layers from Indo-European steppe migrations, but less influence from later Slavic and Ottoman genetic inputs than one might expect. Linguistically, the Albanian language remains a singular branch of the Indo-European family, unrelated to neighboring Slavic or Romance languages, mirroring its genetic distinctiveness. Combined, these genetic and linguistic markers point to a population that has not only survived, but retained key elements of its ancient identity. In a region often defined by blending and change, modern Albanians represent a living link to the deep past, an enduring Balkan presence with a signature all their own. Genetics is not just about ancestry. It's a tool for uncovering buried truths and challenging national myths. For Albanians, modern science affirms deep roots in the Balkans, validating cultural memories while clarifying complex histories. Ancient DNA reveals continuity, but also diversity, proof that identity is both inherited and evolving. As the science advances, so does our understanding of who we are. 
For Albanians, this means embracing a legacy that is uniquely theirs, yet deeply interconnected with the ancient mosaic of Europe. In the search for origins, science doesn't erase stories. It refines them with evidence, nuance, and newfound clarity.